Penhaligon's Legacy of Petra. Brand new, but is it worth your cash? Now, last week I was at the very glitzy, glamorous Penhaligon's launch of this fragrance. And it was all very um, cinema room, sumptuous velvet seats, women in gold, men in gold, champagne on arrival, signature cocktails, little eating parcels, just all the good things that Penhaligon's do in terms of marketing. Like they really do sell it in. But what I'm gonna do in this one is, I'm gonna take that gorgeous marketing and all the gold women and gold men and pop them in a little box and I'm gonna chuck that box out the window because marketing is not the juice. And I wanna tell you what this is all about and is it worth your 190 pounds? It's expensive, it really is. Now, Legacy of Petra is part of the Trade Roots collection. Trade Roots collection from Manhaligans is literally like my favorite genre. Let's call it a genre of Penhaligans. And Trade Roots is very much about scents that were. So thinking about uh, trading in uh, silks, teas, incense, spices, all those gorgeous things that just bring so much to a fragrance. Think of Halfetti, if you know that bestseller from Penhaligans, that is a Trade Roots collection. Cairo, one of my absolute favorites. Babylon, which came out last year. Uh, which has a vanilla note in it. I just think these fragrances are incredible. So to have this one in it, I was intrigued. Now, Petra is a city in the south of Jordan. My history knowledge is limited. I have a politics and history undergrad, but it's certainly not in Petra. But they really made their, made their name in trading of myrrh and frankincense. And myrrh has provided the inspiration to this. It's really the key note in this. So, let's give it a spritz. I have been wearing this for the past week and I'm in a pretty good position to tell you to either part with your cash or not. The key thing is the myrrh. And when I've been thinking about this myrrh, I've kind of been thinking like, what is this memory I have? Like, where am I going with this? And it makes me think of having a really great sticky, like golden syrup, like toffee. One that you're just undoing from the wrapper and it's making a sort of crinkly noise and all the anticipation of knowing that it's gonna kind of hurt your teeth at first. Then you're gonna have to really work with it and warm it up. You pop it in your mouth and you're starting to just work round it. Your teeth are getting a little clogged with this syrupy, tarry consistency. And then it's warming up and becoming slightly creamier, warmer, sweeter. And that is myrrh. That's exactly what I get from myrrh. It's kind of gold. It's, it's sumptuous. You're kind of falling into it. It's wrapping around you. And it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. And with an addition of a licorice note, and I should say licorice, I say licorice. Do we go with licorice? Licorice gives this a real point of difference. Now, licorice, if you think of this as, I was sat next to my friend Lorna, hi Lorna, and she, when she smelt this, she went, she gave me a little prod and she said, this makes me think of licorice all sorts. And it really is that, but licorice in a really premium way, kind of like the ones that uh, you'd go to some sort of health food shop and you'd spend about two pounds on some sort of sweet that's gonna last about three seconds but the quality in it is incredible. And it's got a kind of woodiness to it, a slight sweetness which wraps this. And it's almost like it sort of peels away and the sort of wood in it sort of fractures. The licorice is warm. There's also a green tea note in this, which I kind of get, I kind of don't. So it's, there's a, a kind of like slight citrus um, sort of mist across the top, which does kind of burn off. And then we move into these more golden, sweet, like fully absorbing notes of uh, the myrrh and the licorice. There's also vanilla, like with, with the vanilla in this, I, and I've said this before and I'll say it again. And if you've not heard me say this, then you've probably not subscribed. So please do press subscribe right now. I like vanilla when it's done right. And 
when it's done wrong, you, you've got yourself into like a sort of 99p shop and you've picked up all these sweets, like two for 99p and they're just all a bit sickly sweet and the vanilla has been very much manufactured in some sort of crappy sweet shop somewhere. But with vanilla being good, that's a bad experience I once had with vanilla in a 99p shop. But when the vanilla's good, it brings something incredible. It opens up the sweetness of everything else in here and it cuts through just giving it a, like a perfect blanket that sits across this fragrance. I think this is, there's a few things to this. I'm gonna talk about the performance in a second, but this is probably one of my like initial favorites from Penhaligans in their launches. I do think it's incredible. And I definitely think, even if you think this is maybe not for you, they do have sampling. I'll link it down below. I'm not working with Penhaligans on this. I have worked with Penhaligans in the past, but this is very much an organic video of me picking up and chatting to you. So I will put the link to the, uh, to the, to the sampling. And also if you pass a shop, go in and check it. I, I, I think this is incredible in that it's, it's a perfect autumn winter. So a great timing for them. My only concern is like 190 pounds is so expensive. Like that is like a real investment and we're into a cost of living crisis at the moment. So you need to be really sure that you want this or you've just got to be a Bobby Big Balls bowler who's just got loads of cash and is just chucking stuff away. Um, if so, then you're going to love this. Check it out. The performance on this is kind of like a bit of a sticking point with me in that the sillage is there, but not huge. And I think with this sort of sexy, decadent fragrance, I want to walk through my local Asda and I want people around me to literally bow down and say, who is this god of myrrh? What do we have here? And I will say, hello, good people of Old Kent Road, Asda, how are you? It is me. I am the god of myrrh. And I don't think we quite have that in here. The longevity on the skin is fine. Like I've sprayed it a lot and I've been wearing it and I can sometimes smell it on my clothing the next day. I can certainly smell it on my watch. So it is there, but it becomes quite intimate. And I mean, this fragrance is gonna get you intimate. It is sexy. There's a sort of animal, animalic sort of tone about it in that it's a nuzzler. It's kind of like a rip your clothes off and let's go. But it's just, it's just good. But the performance factor, I'm just unsure of. Um, but as I say, literally, I think one of the best launches from Penhaligans in recent years. But with 190 pounds, you've got to be sure. So where am I on this? I am saying that is the info for you and you are adults to make your own decisions. So check out the sampling and definitely get a sample. Also, I'm going to give you a link to that wooden oven. Also a link to all the other Penhaligans uh, fragrances. I'm gonna put that there. That'll take you to Penhaligans reviews on my website, manfromself.com. Also a link on screen to subscribe and everything else in the cards up there. But thank you very much for watching. Till my next new video, bye-bye.